Good morning and welcome, Red Devils. My name is Ayesha Fosa, your ASB president. Please stand and join me in the pledge. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Good morning, Red Devils. This is your principal, Ms. Gavin, and I hope everyone is doing well, that you're safe and healthy. During these times where we're behind closed doors, I've actually been trying to do a lot of exercising. So I'm still getting up at 5 a.m. really early in the morning and getting my exercise in. So that's how I've been devoting some of my time. And Hello, Red Devils. This is your principal, Ms. Gavin, and I'm here to congratulate our outstanding scholars. We had 366 Sioux High Red Devils make it onto the principal's honor roll. So these are students who have a cumulative GPA of 3.75 or above. That means that from ninth through 12th grade, you have a cumulative GPA of 3.75 or above. So whether you're in ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th or 12th, you have this distinction. You are officially on the principal's honor roll and we already mailed your certificate to your home. So you should have received it by today. And if you didn't, or you don't by next week, please let us know. You can notify us, but those certificates were sent out to 366 of our Red Devil Scholars. Congratulations, great job. So that was a video by Haniki, and today I'll be showing you how to make French toast. You need bread, cinnamon and sugar, eggs, and milk. Then you want to combine that all together. Yes, I'm using chopsticks. I forgot to add the cinnamon, so I'm adding that right now. Then you want to make sure you turn on your stove. Then grease your pan. Then dip your bread into the French toast mixture and put it into the pan. Then make sure to flip it once they're golden brown. And here's everything that I made and it tastes really good. Devils. I'm Ashley and I'm here with Eric and together we came up with an idea called Top 10 where we recommend can't speak where we recommend five movies and five shows for you guys to watch over quarantine and hopefully you guys enjoy it because maybe we'll make this into a little series so let's get on to it so first show up is Outer Banks I have personally watched it my friends have personally watched it they loved it and it's about four teenagers John B, Pope, JJ and Kyra better known as Kai they go to this legendary treasure hunt that's been there for years. And when they find out that John B's father's disappearance is linked to it, it takes a big, big plot turn, plot twist. So we loved it. Hope you guys will love it too. So next show up is 90 Day Fiance. If you're into a little bit of drama, a little bit of reality, this is your show. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it's where two couples around the world come together and they have 90 days to decide if they want to get married. Yeah, you could already tell there's going to be some problems, some tea, you know, like language barrier, cultural and religious differences. Like the list could go on, you know, so I do recommend this show if you're into a little bit of tea, drama and reality. Period. So if you're into a little bit of crime kicking, criminal investigations, crazy murders, Criminal Minds is your show. This is about the seven agents who come together and solve these crazy murders. And you get so attached to the characters. And like that, you get so attached to the characters. And the show, it makes you want to keep watching it guess, and making you guess who you think it is. And next thing you know, it's 3 a.m. and you're eating chips. I've been there, trust me. 
And um, I do recommend the show because it's amazing. And yeah. so this other show is called Elite. I do recommend putting subtitles. Trust me. It's in another language. But this show is about three students who go to this exclusive private school. And when they clash with the popular kids, a murder happens. That's all we have for you today for Top 10. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it and watch one of these shows or movies. And stay safe, stay inside, you know, and do your homework. It's time for more. It's time for the movies. Top five movies that I will recommend to you guys during this lockdown. So the first movie I have here is Back to the Future. This beautiful 80s sci-fi film follows Marty McFly who is played by Michael J. Fox and Doc Brown who is played by Christopher Lloyd on their little time traveling experiment. The experiment goes sideways when Marty McFly accidentally hits the 88 miles per hour in the DeLorean that sends him back to the 50s where he encounters the younger version of his parents. Marty runs in to the younger version of his mother and she starts to fall in love with him which is a big no-no in time traveling and now Marty needs to get his younger mother and his younger father to fall in love again or else he will cease to exist. Coming in at number two is Lucy from 2014. So this movie is about 25 year old Lucy who is played by Johansson who is studying in Taiwan but gets tricked by her boyfriend to deliver some paperwork to a boss of his. What Lucy didn't know is that the briefcase contained some medication that needed to be transferred to Europe. So once the boss, Mr. Chang, got hands on her, they used her body as a transporter. So when Lucy is transporting the medication, it leaks into her body's system and gives her access to parts of the human mind that a typical human being can't. When she discovers her newfound powers, she is on the hunt for revenge on Mr. Chang for everything that he has put her through. And along the way, she gets guidance from human mind leading researcher, Professor Norman. The next movie I have for you guys is Interstellar. In this movie, it shows you Earth's future as it slowly becomes uninhabitable for the human species. So this is when a NASA physicist, Professor Bran, comes in with a plan to transport Earth's population through a wormhole to a complete different planet. But first, Bran is going to need former NASA pilot Cooper and a group of researchers to go across the galaxy and research three different planets to see which one they can send Earth's population to. The next one I have for you guys is Always Be My Maybe. So Always Be My Maybe is about two childhood best friends slash sweethearts who have a fallout and don't speak to each other for the next 15 years. Eventually they run into each other as adults 15 years later in the city of San Francisco where the connection is still there but they live in two completely different worlds. So this last movie I have for you guys is Saving Mr. Banks. So Walt Disney who is played by Tom Hanks wants the rights to Mary Poppins but the author P.L. Travers who is played by Emma Thompson doesn't exactly like what Walt does business wise. After 20 years of Walt trying to get at the rights for Mary Poppins, P.L. Travers, the author, finally gives in after she's in some financial trouble, but she'll only do it under one condition, that the movie is made exactly how she wants it. Travers traveled to Los Angeles to see how Walt and his team were working on Mary Poppins to bring her to life, but even after Walt trying to understand what she wants, she is not impressed at all. So those are going to be the five movies that I recommend to you guys to watch during this lockdown. Just like Ashley said, if you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully we can make this into a weekly series, a bi-weekly series for you guys to watch and to watch some new TV shows or new movies that are out of your genre zone, I guess. So yeah, that's going to be it from both of us and we'll see you guys next time. Later. And I want to wish you all well. And lastly, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.